Hey what is up YouTube and welcome back to the channel. Quick question, have you ever seen this green odd egg before? Do you know what mystical creature is behind this? Or maybe it's a fake? Leave a comment down below and let me know what you guys think it might be. Find out on the next video if you nailed it. Don't forget to subscribe if you're not subscribed yet and turn on notifications so that you will be notified as soon as the video goes live. With that said and done, let's get on with the video. Chromodoids are a toxic family of beautiful colorful sea slugs that belong to the family of nudobranches. Chromonoid nudobranches are among the most gorgeous colored of all animals. There are over 360 described species and over 3000 species of sea slug and are primarily found in tropical and subtropical waters. Chromonoids are the most species family of Opisteobranchs. They range in size from 10 mm to over 30 cm, although most species are approximately 15 to 30 mm in size. All nudobranches are hermaphrodites, with each individual processing both male and female reproductive structures. During mating, two individuals compete for the position of male by darting their penises at one another until the victor penetrates the body wall of the other and impregnating them, forcing them to act as the female, an act commonly called penis fencing. From here, the female lays eggs into a substrate which hatches larva who will further evolve into adults. Chromonoids commonly exhibit chemical defenses to protect themselves from predators. Most of the species that exhibit this behavior make use of bioactive compounds like alkanoids from the sponges they feed on. Nudobranches can collect these compounds and store them, although there is no information on how common each mechanism is and which individual species exhibits the individual methods. Chromonoid nudobranches, in particular, transport and store their toxic compounds in specialized storage glands in locations throughout the mantle mantle dermal formations or MDFs these MDFs have shown to harbor extremely high concentrations of distasteful and potent compounds in comparison to the rest of their body they feed on sponges like most of the nudobranches some nudobranches are poisonous while others pretend to be poisonous which is evident by the vibrant colors they feed on stinging cells of hydrozoids and store them in the rear of their body for protection. They can also ingest toxins from other sponges and become toxic and inedible. Some nudobranches have even produced their own chemicals. Baby frogfish have taken advantage of this and mimic nudobranches when they are small and vulnerable. In Russia, and Alaska, it is eaten roasted or boiled. Sea slugs are also sometimes eaten raw. If you have an appetite for some of these sea slugs, then let me know in the comment section. Thanks for watching. Stay safe, and I will see you guys in the next one.